That is Worship, the Mayor of Point Fortin. Good morning. Good morning, morning. And also Councillor Ronald Carrington, who is the Chair for Culture and Celebration. Good morning Good to morning. you as well. Morning, morning. So glad to have you with this morning. Now, one thing we were talking about off air is that every year I am looking to see, you know, when the, the exact date, what's happening in Point Fortin. I look on your website and, and everything to find out. This year I found all the information and i was like wow i was really impressed this year to see everything laid out and your worship you're saying it's because you've actually got a new council well it's a new team of persons in place but it's a dynamic unit that that's working very mm -hmm. hard towards just advancing the causes of people in point 14. Mm -hmm. and i think we need we have an intention to do things different and better mm -hmm. so um they used to have it they, they um, program of activities were always there, the calendar of events were always there. I always had problems finding it for some but reason. We are we have an intention to always improve on things that yeah. we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And we have a dynamic group of young mm -hmm. people together, a dynamic committed group of individuals that make up this tent council of the Point Fourteen Borough. And I think it's just a manifestation of the hard work. Mm -hmm. We're trying our best. What has been happening in <coughs> Point Fortin since you've become mayor? Ah well the first thing we we be came a council on the 13th of December, mm -hmm. just before the Christmas holidays. We went into Christmas working on the community activities, ensuring that the people of Point Fordin enjoyed Christmas. Then we came out of the Christmas celebrations into the carnival celebrations, and persons were always indicating that carnival was dead in Point Fortin. Now, some persons were trying to accept the fact that we have borough celebrations, so we ain't bang for carnival, but they were always criticizing. Mm. So this team decided that we needed to bring back Carnival to Point Fortin, and we needed to really mobilize the communities of Point Fortin to ensure that we had that Carnival celebration. Mm -hmm. We did that. <laughs> it was a tremendous success. I, I tip my hat to the members of the council for the efforts, and Point Fortin had a tremendous Carnival, so much so that persons who used to leave and go to Cedros Library, San Fernando, Port of Spain, are looking forward to Carnival 2018. And then we started to work on borough. Mm. And that's where you have this calendar of events as we unfold the borough celebrations to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Now, that is something that is looked forward to every year, borough celebrations yes. in Point Fortin. It's one of the biggest events in the country, especially the PAN, Pan event. Yes. Um, one of the biggest events, you know, after the panorama at Carnival time. Mm -hmm. Councillor Carrington, mm -hmm. Celebrations are actually beginning this Friday. Yes. What else is going to be taking place? Well, as we all know, the Borough Day celebration, as, I say, as you just rightfully mentioned, is the biggest celebration outside of the National Carnival. Mm -hmm. um, people look forward to this. And as you can see on the calendar, there's a wide range of events, both youth and for the seniors. So we mm -hmm. kind of spread it across the table where we have all the events taking place. As you just rightfully mentioned, mm -hmm. the launch will be on Friday, which is tomorrow the 21st. And right after that, it, we go straight into the um, district event. So there are six districts in Point Fortin. So what we have is each of the area having an opportunity to showcase their talent, bring out the, the people from inside the, the, the district and be part of that celebration. And, and as Trimbagonians know, mm -hmm. much talent has actually come from Point Fortin. Exactly. <laughs> so you know there's a lot to go around. Yes. You know, so we try to spread it, um, not to duplicate in the events. So mm -hmm. we have an opportunity to showcase both in sports, both in, in the culture aspect of things. And it's been working well, and we just again continue to work hard to make sure that we satisfy the needs of the people in Point Fortin and environs, and because we know there's a lot of um, both foreign and local persons that um, visit Point Fortin, not only on the actual Saturday, but the events leading up to the 2017 celebration will be the same. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I think is another highlight is the... Um, is it the Queen competition? Yeah, yeah, that Queen is called the Queen competition. Mm -hmm. I was actually looking to see when it is taking the place. The 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, the 29th, uh, that's of um, April? On the 29th of mm -hmm. April? Actually, yeah. the, the 20th. Or is no, it the 28th? That's the Miss Point Fortin mm -hmm. Borough Miss pageant, Fortin, which yes. is at the Point Fortin East Secondary School at 8 p.m. Yeah. How is that coming along? Because that is also another big event. But I think um, it promises to be a bumper event this mm -hmm. year. I know... Um, the um, coordinator and promoter of that event, Mr. Denzel, James, Denzel yeah. James. Right, and the, the, we have contestants, mm. beautiful young ladies, intelligent young ladies from the area of Point Fortin. 
I have my personal pick, but if I say it, I might uh, yes. create yes. some problems. But I can say this much, she's my neighbor. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that would explain why. Uh, yes, yeah. but um, I think that the group of contestants mm -hmm. will really do point forth and proud. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be there, but I cannot participate. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you have to, you know, stay neutral, neutral in all instances. So there's also Barham Marathon. Is that something that always that always uh, was uh, a part of Let the council speak yeah. to that. <laughs> it's always, I've always been on the, um, the calendar. Mm -hmm. I mean, been growing over the years. Um, a lot of participants, as we know, have been always visiting to the point 14 for that bar the marathon event. Mm -hmm. And you know, outside of the events, we'll have some highlight events that will always, where people look forward to yeah. on a yearly basis. Um, we go for as the military parade, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the gospel concert. And the, the, the we meet, which is on the Friday, we have the, well, the Juve celebration, which is actually <laughs> of on Saturday. Of course. And to top it off, the <laughs> Pan and the Move. Pan and the Move. I mean, the Pan and the Move is something, I mean, people get the opportunity to chip through the street at Point Fourteen here and all the National yeah. Steel officials, you know, pelt out and the renditions from all the various... And they come from far and, and they wide. Come from far and wide. Deep South Point And it will be <laughs> more different this year. You know, we have a lot of cooperation from the bands, and we must highlight the opportunity that we had this year working with the security council meetings that we had with the um, TTPS, Trent Tobago Defense Force, Coast Guard. It, 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 the meetings were very fruitful, and I think in the planning operations, I think we feel very safe and secure to know the efforts are being made mm -hmm. to sh make sure that we have a safe 2017 borough celebration. Are there any new events this year? Well, we have the culture in Kalalu, which will normally be the Tobago night. So what we do is an inclusion of other um, Genres, genres of, of, of music and the, where we know the society that we live in. So we try to include, um, we, we have Parang been asking for space for a long time yeah. because the borough celebration will fall obviously not in the period when we will be having the Parang band. So mm -hmm. that means it's a good idea to showcase the, it's borough celebration yeah. and if there are bands that perform in the Parang music but it comes in December or later in the year, we should give an opportunity mm -hmm. to them. So that, that culture in Kalalu will really incorporate those aspects of the different parts of the culture. Which is uh, uh, quite interesting and a very good thing as well because it was just Parang and Easter mm -hmm. um, that took place this weekend. Right. So we can have Parang we any could. time of we the could. year basically. You just, you know, adjust it, let right. the, the lyrics adjust space. it to right. the season. And a lot of people is something new so yeah. again obviously they will have people who say why are we moving this but you know you have to be innovative and try ways again to listen the climate wouldn't be able to satisfy all, but at least we have to at least listen to the needs of the others and see how best we can incorporate them in the celebration. So, okay, your worship, as I turn back to you, um, because I want to find out, you clearly seem to be a dynamic person, you know, really trying to get um, point forward and on. I mean, this really, I tell you, impressed me this year because it's like it came out really early and I was able to see all the events. And we what talk a little later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that is what I'm saying because sometimes I see it like maybe the week before or, you know, on, you know, just very close to when things are happening because right. I'm always searching to see when the events are going to be taking place. But I have everything in front of me right now. What is your vision for Point Fortin as it stands right now? I'm happy that you asked that. I think we must be able to advance um, Point Fortin as a place where it's the go-to place in Trinidad and Tobago. We, we have the melting pot. We have the, the launching pad, we have the talent pool. But we need to be able to show the nation more of Point Fortin. We are working currently on a tourism development plan. But we have, we have things that we can, our borough celebration is one aspect of our tourism concentration. But we have four what you may call um, heritage sites in Point Fortin that are just there. And we, we want to invest in those things so people can come to Point Fortin, not just for Borough Day, mm -hmm. but for other things that we have. We, are, we have the beach facility. We, 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 we want to develop that, what we call Sunset Beach area, where um, when people come to Point Fortin, they must be vexed when they have to leave. <laughs> and I, I, must, I must mention one, I must mention the, 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 the re-inclusion of things like the Corridor Cookout mm. and the, the Tassarama. Mm -hmm in our um, borough celebration because we don't want any aspect of our um, community to feel left out. It's an all-inclusive thing. I depend on the entire Point Fourteen community to work with this council to advance the cause of Point Fourteen. And I must mention, over the years, what we will find is that in local government, you always hear 
members of the different councils complain about the, the, the challenges that they're having with the administrative arm of the corporation. Um, what, what the nation may not know is that the CEO of the corporation is actually here with us this morning. And this is just a manifestation that in point 14, we have already commenced our working on, on, on that whole local government reform. The mere fact that the CEO and the administration is ready and willing to help the, the, the political arm in the delivery of service to the people mm -hmm. indicates that while we are waiting for it to roll out, mm -hmm. we have already started to work it in point 14. Now, there are also some post-season events that are taking place. Um, can you tell us quickly a little bit more about it, Councillor Carrington? Well, just added to that, as you may, may mm -hmm. mention, um, we have a lot still that we have the icons in the sun, which will actually take place after the military parade, mm -hmm. where we showcase all the iconic people from Point Fortin and environs, right? That will be a concert in the bandstand, which will be the Victor Chinket Park. We have added to that the Mayor's Ball, mm -hmm. and then we have the Jazz. The jazz which will be try to bring it back to the level that it used to be. So that will actually be on Wednesday, the May third, at the Garden Jewels. So it's jazz in the garden, you know. Wow. You know and then we have the post events where you have the, the pan for blue. Mm -hmm. Youth. You have the of yeah. Where we concentrate on the youths and have that opportunity for them. And there's a space also for them in the even when they launch. Um, it's a safe uh, uh, initiative by the No Youths Left Behind. Yeah. Uh, in mm -hmm. collaboration with the Bo Point Fourteen Borough Corporation where we say that share the need and it is a very good idea where they have that set up that area where the youth can be able to come and be dealt with with it. You have the family crisis, the rape crisis, mm -hmm. the abuse as we know, the, some of the challenges that are taking place right now in Trinidad to be with our youth. Yeah. And we will have that opportunity for persons from the different aspect to be able to come and share the knowledge with them and be able to encourage them and have that level of support, you know, they will have the contacts that they will be able to get in through the hotlines that they will be able to have those contacts that they will be able to reach yeah. out to. Well, it certainly looks like Point Fortin is on the move. Yeah. So I wish you all the best of luck. Remember, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, celebrations start this Friday. That's tomorrow, yes, in case you don't realize, on the mm -hmm. 21st, going straight on until um, basically the 7th. And then there are even post events that are going to be see. taking place mm -hmm. after that. Thank you, your wish, for coming and letting us know all about this and all the great things that you're doing for Point. Yeah. And thank you also, uh, Councillor Carrington. And mm -hmm. just for those of you, you pan lovers out there, because I know that there are quite a few of you, <laughs> Saturday the 6th. <laughs> Bad on the move, so make sure I'll be there. If nothing else, all the top bands bad on the move. And you can catch all this, all the top bands, all, all, the top bands, all, the all the way. Trinidad bands, yeah. and Tobago. Yeah, Trin of course, Trinidad yeah, and Tobago. Yeah. And we have and some returning bands like um, Silver Hubs, who have been, ooh, been absent yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. They're now rejuvenated Great. and back in the pan circle. Fantastic. So they'll be there also. And you can get the whole itinerary on their website as well. So check it out so you can... Not if you don't want to check out the other events as well because they're also very great. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And we celebrate. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah, thanks.